Okay, welcome back to Team Raw 101. Um, today, I just pretty much been on online all day. I just been reading about how people are just so I heard about this meta. Yes, I do understand, and you guys should understand that the top. If you want to be a good player, you need to be be playing the meta. The meta, of course, being prophecy, um, dragon rulers, evil swarms. If you want them in order. Um, it's going to be Dragon Ruler is number one right now, Prophecy is number two, um, Evil Swarms number three, um, Water is number four. I recommend you not to play Water if you don't have a meta deck right now because Makos are still going, or they went down to $48 a piece right now and they're still going to keep on dropping until something gets gets made to make it a lot better. My personal opinion right now, I think the number five um, deck right now in the meta that a lot of people will disagree with me right now is Madoshas. Madoshas will actually probably go up to um, tier three. This is what I believe. Just because Madoshas has so many different combos that you can do and people just don't really know how great it is. I think uh, some guy got second and then there's another, apparently there's another guy, I was reading that he got first with Madoshas. Um, but yeah, if you pretty much want to win this game, you have to play the meta. Um, Dragon Rulers, of course, is, is common build. Three adults, two babies. Um, you banish, banish two dragon, to special summon a adult dragon, usually there'll be a baby and an adult so the adult gets their effect to search for another another elemental dragon type monster while you still have that seven, seven star dragon and you pretty much get to disc, discard two dragons, one has to be a baby who special summon their element adult dragons but it can't attack so you pretty much exceed for a big eye or draco sack um, pretty easy combo to beat Iron Wall, Kaiko, um, Micro Soul Drain. There's so many different cards out there to be Dragon Rulers. Um, prophecies. Um, Sally, I have not really played that many prophecies. The only thing I have always been playing is Dragon Rulers and Evil Swarm Dragon Rulers, Evil Swarm Dragon Rulers, Evil Swarm Dragon Rulers, Evil Swarms. Um, pretty much that's, every time I go to a tournament, that's my lineup. Um, pretty much prophecies are pretty, pretty expensive, but not as expensive as people are thinking, because a lot of cards keep dropping. Uh, prices went as low, not as low as Megalo did, but still, um, people don't even play three prices anymore. Um, two people, people just run two priestesses or none. The guy who got second on nationals ran no priestesses. Pretty much ran three Kaikos and I can't, I can't remember the other card on top of my head. They pretty much tossed you and your opponent to special summoning 29 spell cards. Um, a couple of ways that I always beat it on spell canceler. I, I used to play frost and I always beat it with that. Um, beast. 6 a.m. have easy wins with spell cat uh, spell books. Um, just something I can't I, I can't think of on the top of my head, but yeah, several ways to be spell um, spell books. So you guys don't have to be sweating. You see your opponent playing this this deck when you're going to a tournament. Just know there's way to beat it. Just have your side deck prepared for these matchups. Um, Evil swarms. Evil Swarms, I love playing Evil Swarms, I don't think they're that amazing. Well, it depends on their matchup. If if they go first turn Ophion, if you're going against a Spellbook or Dragons, they are pretty much needs to start doing some combos to get rid of it. But yeah, but like I said, Madoshas, we don't special summon high level monsters. So... It's pretty much not that to worry about with Madoshas playing Evil Swarms. It's their back row. Because so far that's, that's the only meta deck out there that's playing um, trap cards. Um, I know Prophecies and 
you just want to play few but not anything to be really concerned um, but yeah there's there's easy ways to be evil swords also um, let's see a deck that I think it might be really good this format also is bubble beat just cause bubble beat can take any any arch type um, or any attribute monster with super polarization but you don't really see that many play people playing that deck anymore because it's pretty pretty old um, but yeah if you, I uh, before I do my little phrase comment like subscribe and keep it positive um, guys like I said I like I posted in my last video uh, cyber ruling is a terrible way to bully somebody one I think that's a complete coward way because you're pretty much just talking smack on somebody online that you know you'll never see so and I can see the bullier thinking they have power because you know nothing's gonna happen to them because they're hiding behind a screen um, a lot of a lot of cyber bullies are especially in Yu-Gi-Oh are people who've been bullied outside like school, parents, co-workers and just trying to release some stress um, but to the people who are getting victimized just test log off ignore them um, the more the more you react the more power they get like that guy Dalton from last night reason he was just doing this because for once in his life he was getting people were paying attention to him so he was just just embracing it and trying to get as much out of it as he can um, but yeah Cyberbull is terrible a lot of people get hurt I see a lot of people committing suicide because of that what's her name Amanda Todd who committed suicide for being a little, you know, sending pictures of her exposing herself to a creep and cyberbullying her. So just guys, just guys think about that. Um, but yeah, back on Yu-Gi-Oh. Comment, like, subscribe, and keep it positive, and comment below about what deck you use that's anti-meta, and what cards you side in to stop the meta and it helps with your deck because like oh, so many cards out there that they can stop meta but there's only it's better if it works for your deck so just remember to comment below and go tell your friends about Team Raw 101 and subscribe to me please I really need support and why you should subscribe I know I'm just rambling on right now but Watch and subscribe because I'm still going to do um, giveaways and they're not going to be cheap giveaways. They're going to be probably $40 and plus giveaways. Uh, right now I'm unemployed so pray for me to get a job soon. So you, I can just start doing giveaway giveaways. Um, yeah, hopefully I have a job before the number 100 set comes out and I have enough money to buy a Two boxes, one for me and one for you guys. So remember, comment, like, subscribe, and keep it positive. Stop the cyberbullying.